Hi, I'm Mark Waite. Welcome to the Jenkins Documentation Special Interest Group. Uh, today, I wanted to do a brief summary of our progress in the last two weeks over the Jenkins documentation. So, first topic, previous action items. The DocSig pull request has been submitted and a blog post has been created. Um, I have one action item open that the Docs project ideas need to be included in a pull request. We've also got a new page in our, in our JIRA site that provides a, a dashboard for website bugs. And we've made good progress on those website bugs thanks to that JIRA page. So the page looks like this. Shows on the left, unresolved status on the on the bottom left and website unresolved as a filter on the right. Thanks very much to Radek Antoniak for creating that page. Beautiful work. Welcome, Kristen. So we've got uh, John Ha's blog post is done. And uh, or rather the, the contributing doc for Jenkins X is done. And participants have begun reviewing pull requests. Grateful for help from Radek, from Meg, Meg McRoberts, and others. Oleg's also completed the mentor instructions as a pull request to Jenkins.io. Kristen, were there any topics that you wanted to add to the agenda today? Okay. So, We've got action proposals that we would like to cover. We'll take these in another week or in another two weeks, two weeks from now. Um, Oleg is unable to attend today. Likewise for the, uh, the community bridge status report. In terms of the doc SIG infrastructure status report, JEP4 progress is on track, looks good. There are a few items left to do. We will continue reporting at least once a month to the to the uh, Jenkins governance project. Website bug reports have been reviewed and we've made really good progress on clearing them up, tidying them up. Uh, we could really use help from other team members in the docs to review those bug reports and especially identify ones that are newbie friendly. Uh, we'll, we've got another topic here on the plugin site, reviewing strengths and weaknesses. We'll defer this for another two weeks. And then I wanted to take some time here today to talk about prioritization and prioritizing our documentation effort with data. So one of the things that had been created a year or two ago was a page feedback mechanism mm -hmm. for pages on the Jenkins IO site. Okay. And we've now got results. So the Pages most voted not helpful are the Jenkins pipeline git step. Okay, as the maintainer of that plugin, shame on me, that's one to work on. The hello world tour and the environment tour. Those, those git plugin, I think I understand. That particular step is syntactic sugar and should be pointed to checkout. But hello world and environment are both intentionally structured to help students help readers get benefit, and yet they have strong no votes. Hmm. The scaling page is empty. So getting not helpful on an empty page is no shock. The build step is exceedingly complicated. And so strong no votes there, no, no surprise. That's a project idea we should probably put in. The nodes page is also empty. So for me, that page feedback results gives us some hints of possible project ideas that we can put into the system. Um, we'll capture those in an upcoming pull request to Jenkins.io and put each of them in there as an idea of some place that could be approved, improved. Now, I've got some really good news. Let's look at the, uh, at the graph here. In the last month, we've dramatically increased both the number of contributors and the number of contributions to the Jenkins.io site. Um, We've also had some significantly positive contributions from in the area of social media helps 
that make our pages more attractive when presented through social media. So when there's a Twitter link now, for instance, there will be a picture associated with it that will be included in the Twitter feed. Uh, Oleg indicates there's more work we can do to further improve that, but this is a nice step in just the two or four weeks since we started the platform, the documentation special interest group. As another positive, our open pull request count is, has dropped dramatically. We've resolved many, many pull requests. We're at under 10 and have been under 10 open pull requests for three or four weeks now. So thanks very much to those doing pull reviews of pull requests. There's some other surprises here, which in the data, which I didn't quite understand, but I would like to highlight. The second highest referring site to the, our GitHub repository for Jenkins.io is actually Wilson Marr's blog. And he's got a, a, a page or a set of pages there that are Jenkins tutorials. They are more frequently referring to the source code of this Jenkins IO site than Jenkins.io itself does. Uh, very impressive that he's got so many visitors and I'm not sure what we can learn from that, but I think it's worth studying. That concludes the topics that I had. Kristen, were there any things that you wanted to, to report on? Um, no, not really, but I did notice when you were talking about the um, pages that were not as helpful. <laughs> um, two of them are part of a set or could be related to a sub project that would be you know, fixing the pipeline steps documentation, which is something that we had looked to have as a, like a Google Summer of Code project or it could be like a um, season of docs project eventually. But yeah, that, there's like a lot that could be done there um, to improve that, so. Excellent, and so <laughs> you say that was, I, I, I missed it because of my not having my, not having my audio configured. Oh. Which of the pages was it? Sorry, so the one that says the, the build step oh, and that. also the git step. So see there, they're part of the steps auto generation. So there, there's some work that could be done there. So it's interesting. I, I agree with you about the uh, Hello World Tour and the Environment Tour. It's interesting that they, it, is there a way that we can see more about why they said it wasn't helpful or is it just kind of, it wasn't? There, there isn't. All they, uh, all they provide is a yes, it's helpful or no, it's not. And that's, that's even then opt in for them as a as a participant. So they gotcha. don't, they don't get a feedback form. It's just hey, helpful or not. Gotcha. Okay, because it's like because it you know it could be different for other for certain people might find you know this one little piece helpful or it's just like it's all not helpful. <laughs> but no, I'm glad that this is here to even get the feedback in the first place, so we know what we can start addressing. Right, and that was my thrill, is I'm, I'm ecstatic that we've got the feedback. A little embarrassed that the plugin I maintain is the top of the list, but. Oh, it's all good. I think some of the parts of that is that it's just difficult to figure out what's going on in general with the plugin steps, and it's so much easier to just have the, um, the pipeline or the gener auto generation, or what, the snippet generator inside the Jenkins itself. It's a lot easier to see what's going on there, but. Right. <laughs> yeah. That, that's and that's so I'm I'm delighted. This was the work originally of Giles Gaskell. Oh, and nice. I believe it was almost two years ago they they did this initiative, and mm -hmm. I'm really thrilled that it's still gathering the data and we can use the data. I find it interesting. It's it's also it's another piece of data that I haven't yet extracted is how many pages got votes at all. You know, mm -hmm. aggregate total of because that may hint which pages are most heavily heavily viewed mm -hmm. and we can we could then decide oh we should focus some energy on the pages that are most often viewed the empty pages yeah that's we should fix those because that's a cool place to do some writing right <laughs> all right great well that concludes the topics that i had anything else from you Kristen? then um no not really all right well let's conclude this meeting then thanks very much i'll archive the the recording of the meeting and we will we will meet again in two weeks. Thank you. All right, thanks.